Hey guys, what's up? Caleb Downing with SDI, and today I want to talk to you about feeding options for your PCCs. Let's get into it. All right, so we live in a very interesting age. Yes, there's some politics and some laws and some things that just grate against our bones. However, we still live in an age full of options, especially what I'm gonna point out today in feeding options for your PCCs. Back in the day, you were basically stuck with cult magazines, right? Even though I'm gonna talk about one of those in a minute, I really like them. But cult magazines, and I'm trying to think of any other, like Uzi magazines, which I think you can take Uzi magazines and get them to work in cult stuff. You weren't, you didn't have a whole lot of options is what I'm trying to say, all right? Then the advent of using Glock magazines came into effect as far as using those for your PCCs. And a lot of times those were done by taking a block, basically, inserting it into your regular AR-15 lower receiver and kind of converting that to use Glock magazines. You could also use that to use Beretta magazines and I think nowadays too you can use them for SIG 320 magazines. So that's still an option. It's an old option, but it's still there. It's not, it's not anything new. Some of the interesting new things that we have today are things like this. This is a Fox Shop mic lower, and this is, this is I think it's not 3D printed, I think it's injection molded, but it's designed from the ground up to work with Glock magazines. This is ambidextrous uh, magazine release. As you can see here, I have this guy taken apart so you can actually see what's going on. This little nubbin right here, when you insert the magazine, that nubbin interfaces with the follower on the magazine, and you actually get bolt stop, bolt release, um, capabilities, right? To where some of these other systems, you didn't have that because it was kind of a band-aid fix to use your regular AR-15 lower. This is a giant leap forward, in my opinion, as far as design and allowing you to use proper magazines in your system and not have a not have a band-aid setup, right? Another cool thing, since this is molded this way and specifically designed like this, this particular one has an extra magazine you have down here in your in your grip, your pistol grip, and it uses like a regular uh, magazine release that you would have like on a pistol. So you can keep extra mag, uh, extra mag, extra ammo down in there. Or if you're one of those super squirrely cool guys, whatever, if you have a suppressed setup, you could have you know your subsonic ammo ready to go to be super squirrely quiet, and then if you know, the zombies really come after you, you can have your super high speed velocity ammunition in this one. Interesting, again, it gives you options, it gives you options, that's all I'm trying to point out. Talking about some other magazines that kind of you could use before, but now it's done a little bit different. This is a G5 lower from New Frontier Armory and it uses MP5 magazines. Now, in my opinion, MP5 magazines and Colt magazines are the best for PCCs because that's what they're made for. They load a lot easier, they feed a lot easier, they're better for it. You can use Glock magazines and regular pistol magazines, but in my opinion, personal opinion, MP5 magazines and Colt magazines are where it's at for ultimate reliability and just ease of use, right? And so this is an option that you have, again, New Frontier Armory, uh, the G5, I also have a C5 lower, just different generations, but they do the same thing and they work. Um, it's it's pretty stinking cool, again, on how this is not just a, a Band-Aid fix, this is a lower specifically designed to work with these magazines, right? You get to use your same AR triggers, mag not your magazine release, the button on this side you can, uh, but the, the magazine release, the interface is a little bit different to work with the MP5 magazine. Again, talking about PCC specific stuff, this is a Colt, dropped it out, this is a Colt magazine. And this, is, this works with the CMMG lower uh, that is specifically made for this. Again, not a block drop-in piece. This is a lower that was machined out to use Colt stick magazines. And in my opinion, again, it doesn't really matter which one you go, if you like the straight you know, look or if you like the curved look, MP5s and Colt magazines, in my opinion, are really the way to go. Now, here's another option for you. Some of you may have already seen these things. I probably have already talked about these before. But this is a 9mm. And this is, this is an option for people, specifically people that have invested a lot of time and money into their lower and they don't want to change their lower at all, put a block in there, do anything crazy, but they want to shoot different calibers, right? For instance, this is an SBR. This is one of my patrol rifles that I had back in the day. And it was originally 5.56. I've converted it and shot it 300 blackout, which that's easy, you just swap uppers. But then I wanted to shoot nine millimeter, right? And I could see a lot of people wanting to do this if, like I said, if they SBR to lower, they put a lot of time and effort and money into it, and it's this really cool 
300 blackout, but then they realize 300 blackout's really not cheap to shoot, and they want to shoot this thing more. And they, they already SBR'd it and did everything. Well, what's their options? This is an option that you can do. These are endomags uh, put out by Mean Arms. Basically what they do is you take a, a P-mag, you pull the guts out, and you insert basically nine millimeter guts, and it actually has uh, the feed ramp that you're gonna need on here. It, this little nubbin, even though it looks small and just doesn't look like it's gonna work, this is the ejector, so you don't have to add special different features to your lower, you literally can swap out magazines to convert calibers from 556 five, 300 blackout to nine millimeter on your regular AR lower. Um, obviously you'd have to switch out your uppers and stuff, but as far as your lower, you don't have to put in special blocks or conversions of things, you literally swap out magazines. So that's an option, specifically in my mind, thinking about those people that have SBRs, um, or if you're one of those lucky people, I don't know, lucky, blessed, however you wanna call it, you got uh, full auto lowers, right? Whether you have SOTs or you got a bunch of money, um, you probably don't want to be going out and just buying more machine guns just to swap calibers. That gets a little bit cost prohibitive for most people, all right? So having this option of swapping out magazines only, as far as your lower goes, that's a, that's an option I think it's worth looking at. So anyway, guys, I hope you found it interesting. Hope you found it helpful. Maybe you knew about all this stuff. Maybe you didn't. Um, this was my first step into, you know, swapping out the calibers, the endomag thing, and after that, I just fell down the rabbit hole and got a bunch of other stuff. And I, they each have their own place. They each have their own little warm spot in my heart. So I would ask you guys, what's your favorite feeding option, magazine style, for your PCCs? All right, Caleb Downing with SDI. Hope you found it interesting and helpful. And hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.